everyone, uh, this time around the video, I thought I'd share with you a little video tutorial. For those of you that are not NAP members, this is to give you a little bit of a taste of what we do every single week on the NAP members homepage is there's always a couple of video tutorials and a couple of written tutorials. So every week those are put on there. So right now we have, gosh, I don't know, I think the last time I checked and I did a search on every single tutorial, there's 871 or something like that. Some of them are video, some of them are written, but again, this is the kind of thing. Sometimes they show a specific technique. Sometimes they show what I want to show you, which is when you're working in RGB, but have to end up in CMYK. An example of this would be when you're printing something at a commercial printer. So you're printing a bunch of brochures or business cards or something like that. And they tell you that the file must be given to them in CMYK mode. So you do have the option of just changing the mode to CMYK, but as I'll show you in a moment here, there are some drawbacks to that. So let's take a look. So here's an example of what we're talking about. Here's a photo right out of Camera Raw. Nothing done to it yet in Photoshop, and it's in RGB mode. If you look at the top of the document window, it shows you that I'm in RGB. But eventually, this needs to be in CMYK. Now, I could just change the mode to CMYK, but one of the reasons I'm reluctant to do that is when you do that, certain things, look at these all these grayed out menu items, that means I can't use any of those. So I'm going to undo that. But one thing you might have noticed is when I did switch to the mode, well, watch the color blue in the uh, material she's holding. It's, it loses a lot of its vibrancy and that's just a reality working with RGB to CMYK. So what can we do? Well, instead of actually changing the mode, one of the things that's possible to do is there's an option called Proof Setup. It's set to CMYK and then I choose Proof Colors. And here's what happens. Look again at the top of the document. Now it's saying RGB slash CMYK, which means technically I'm still in RGB mode, but I'm previewing what it's going to look like in CMYK. So now as I do things like apply filters, I know what I'm going to get. So that's one thing I would do. The other thing is even choosing colors. When you're in the color picker, you'll notice this little warning symbol here, this little triangle right here tells me I'm picking a color which is out of the gamut or the range of colors that CMYK can reproduce. And watch what happens when I click on this. It selects what the next closest color. And look at the difference. That's a pretty big shift of color. So one of the things we can do is this. When you open the color picker, go into the view menu and turn on this thing called gamut warning. What gamut warning does is it overlays with gray any of those colors that are going to shift. And when you turn on the color picker, it basically warns you, don't even bother clicking any of these colors because they're all out of the gamut. And as I switch to other colors, look, it's Doppler radar, sorry. Uh, as I switch to other colors, you can see that in some ranges here, like there's a whole huge area that I just, there's no point in me picking any one of those if I'm gonna end up in CMYK. Now here's the only thing to remember about this. Once you turn this gamut warning on in the color picker, it will stay on forever. So if I close it and then go back to pick some other color, it's still on. So eventually you'll want to turn that gamut warning back off again. And by the way, if I turn the proof colors off, you can also do gamut warning on your document and it will overlay with gray any of those areas. So it doesn't change the fact that some colors like this blue is just gonna shift to the next appropriate color that can be printed in CMYK, but at least this way you're prepared for it. You don't do what happens to many people is they do all their work, and at the very end, they change the mode to CMYK color and go, ah, what happened to all my color? So there you go, just a little taste of what we do on the NAP members website uh, every week. If you're already a NAP member, well, thank you very much, and I'm sure you've been enjoying many of the videos by people like Matt, Kloskowski and Corey Barker and RC and myself and occasional guest appearances by Scott Kelby and other Photoshop trainers. Check it out, photoshopuser.com. Uh, if you join now, you'll be able to get take advantage of some great discounts, including one on an Epson R1900, uh, entry to Photoshop, well, all kinds of things. So there's lots to do at photoshopuser.com besides learning, but that's a big part of it, of course, as uh, you'll see if you check it out and if you join. I hope you will and I'll see you next time.